Hi, John here. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday, the 4th of October 2017. I'm just about to ring my uh, private investigator, Graham Merritt. Oh, it's just. Wrong one. Where is it? Two nine five. Three eight eight. Hey guys. I haven't spoken to him for a long time. Is that Graham? Yes, yes. Graham, uh, look, it's John Wanoa. How are you, John? I'm all right, thanks. Uh, um, Graham, I'm caught up with everything of the case, and uh, I've got the Paramount Chiefs up north behind me now, so we, I, do, I want you to make my bill up, because they're going to um, cover the cost of everything now to finish the case off. Oh, OK. We've had a... Uh, a magistrate court hearing in Epsom at the Te Unga Waka Marae. So it's all, all, all uh, official now. Uh, we've been to the police station uh, on Friday, the 29th, yeah. and to the courthouse and to the lawyer, uh, Utah yeah. Choi. So I've just followed my tracks with them, and it has become a, a matter in their hands now. And uh, but they're willing to cover cost of what you have done already, and uh, if you can make the bill up for me of your input, we can pick up from there. Uh, I I can uh, continue with it as where we were left off, but with more credible inv uh, evidence now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. you still on the same email address. Pardon? You're still on the same email address. Yes, still the same email address. So make an official. Um, 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 invoice to me, just add up what it was, that will yep. update of what your time you've put in, and uh, um, and then we'll I'll sort that out first, and yep. then we'll we'll um, give us an account of what it's going to take to finish it off because they are right behind it. And it's all gone through the Marais up north, and they yep. they are fully behind me. The whole tribes right through the country. Okay. And we've got the contacts in... Pardon? I'll have a look back through my records and then I'll get something off here. Yeah, uh, yeah, just... Uh, um, it's just... Um, uh, I want you to um, uh, make make things up and, and um, uh, put it in official letterhead and I'll letterhead back to you on their behalf. Uh, yeah, no, no. yeah, we'll just uh, go from there. I've got contacts in, in Westminster at the same time, so that ends all right with you ready for this end, but I thought I'd go back to you and, and pick up because you've got information that's uh, relevant. Okay? Okay, that's right, John. You, you, right, you've got my number off this phone. If, you, if you've got it, yeah, 0204085042. And the, the email is mawaienergy at gmail.com. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, I'll hear from you. I'll take your time. Thanks, Okay, bye. Yeah. There you go. Let's scream mail it. I better ring the good news. I better ring Willie Hater. Good morning, Willie. i got some good news for you. Right. Yeah, yeah. And with my choking cough, I've been coughing all bloom and night. I can't get rid of this damn thing. I, I went and swallowed some of Koko's uh, 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 rongo instead of rubbing it on me, and that worked a little bit. Um, that's the honey stuff and whatever is in it. Uh, so that, uh, I've just tried that my last option. I've been rubbing my kidneys. Um, oh, I might be running out of credit. I'll, I might top up after if it goes off. Oh, okay, okay.
Yeah, so uh, I just got off the phone to my uh, private investigator, Graham Ellett, and uh, Ellett Investigation. So he's picking up on it now. He's gonna he's gonna take it on again. So that saves a lot of time because he's got all the records, and he's an ex uh, ex uh, uh, Scotland Yard um, uh, uh, detective. He's an ex British detective. And so that makes it, he understands all the laws over there, so I spent a lot of time, I had three lawyers on the go, but he's one of them, I just got off the phone now, and he's going to pick up straight away off it, and I told him make my bill up, um, because he's done a lot of work um, uh, for the case. So he'll quickly finish it off, Cook Street. It won't take him much, he's better than any lawyer here, uh, uh, as a private investigator, ex-detective. Ex from Britain, uh, so that's the good news. He's gonna, he's gonna uh, sort, sort through all the files. That's going back to 2012, and sort all the files, go back through it, and pick up uh, now with the Paramount Chiefs in. I, I think that, that was the only way to go around it. That's the only way. That's the only uh, way. Once you engage a lawyer, yeah. a lawyer would have been working on, on, on the on the Queen side. Eh? Yeah, 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 and 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 Britain. Now, this this guy is a British detective. He 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 was interested in what this country was doing because he hadn't been in the country long, but he's got experience as a detective to investigate. He investigates. He's he's already investigated Cook Street as being crooked. You see, but I had no money to pay him. That's what my has been my whole problem. Is that I've I've done a lot of work, but they've done it uh, with the with the with, with the idea that I was going to pay them on on the strength of what I'm saying is the truth, and now he's going to pick up because he knows he knows that um, uh, the case is, is bigger than anything, and and with him being British, he's not going to let this one get away. You see, because he's he's got a cut in it too for the British. On, on the deal. Yeah, if it, if New Zealand lawyers are no good. That that one of mine, I sent you an email with Shannon Withers. He was my barrister um, of the Cook Street case. He didn't let me go in court. They were the rule without me because they knew I was going to go there and shut them down. Yeah, so... Yeah, okay then. Yeah, that's the. I'll let you know what the development is from today. Okay. No, thank you very much. <coughs> that's Woody Peter. <coughs> now I'll ring. Oh shit! I better put some put some credit in my phone. I don't like it running out. Um. Uh, um. Um. Uh, my throat is not good. I'm. I'm. I've got a bit of time to go to the pool and have a little swim. Before I go to the, oh no, it's too late. I have to go to the, um, to the physio. Oh dear. I'll do this later. I'll do this later. No, I want to ring my name. So slow. <coughs> <coughs> my phone is so slow. My, my internet. I shouldn't be crawling. I'm crawling. I got some good news. My barrister is going to get on. I'm not barrister. Private investigator is going to get on the case. Just pay his bill. You know, our chief should pay the bill. There, yeah, that'll do it. Help me to pay the bill. I can chip a bit off mine. They all, all chip in. They all chip in. And we'll be right. But this is the right man. I just 
for the record on this video. And my, my, he spent a lot of time with me, uh, so whatever it's worth, it's going to go ahead. He's, I'm familiar with him, I get on with him, and we've got a thing or two going between us. It'll work out really well. He can come with us to Britain as well, and to Europe. He can go everywhere with us, care of the military, British military, Navy, Air Force. The protection. I'm just going to top my phone up so I can ring these guys. <coughs> Bundy and be the first to know. <coughs> I'm a little bit excited even though I'm, I'm my wee wee, which is rather sick uh, with the cold. Not a cold. It's not a cold. It's just something's wrong. Um, I think my readings are a bit too high. Yeah, 78. It's too high. I've got to. I've got to do something about my heart, high blood pressure because it's just too high. I'll know today when I go to the physio what her impression is. I wanted to go and have a swim first before I go, so I'm a little bit more relaxed. I might just have. Ooh, not much time. I wanted to go there first. Come on, move. It's so slow. The, the internet connection here in Odahu is so slow. It's bad. It's not even funny. Come on. It takes this long just to top up. Long time. I'm going to use my mobile phone to top up because I need my phone to ring all the time now. Some urgent message. Come on, go. So Graham is picking up all the files again. And it won't take him much to go right through it because we're going to get on like a house on fire. I like that guy. Better than that Shannon Withers. Shannon Withers came from America. The biggest crooks out is America. I can say that on that video. I don't like Americans. Don't trust them. They're rats when it comes to law. The laws are so corrupted, like themselves. And they're not going to last long because... Soros, George Soros is going to clean them out. Money, um, some good news. My, my private investigator is going to take up the case again. And I am just told him on the phone just now um, that I'll make up his bill for what he's done. But he's done more than anybody else. And he's British. Um, um, detective. He's a British detective from Scotland Yard living here. So he's not going to muck around. And I get on with him like a house on fire. Okay? Okay, I'll call you later. I'll try again later. Bye. Good news, mate. Good news. I got my, I got my bears, my not bears. I've got my uh, private investigator on the go. Yeah. Yeah. He's a British. He's a British detective, and um, he worked on the case for a long time with the, with those other barrister and lawyers. Uh, but he's done more. He's done more. So uh, I told him uh, that we're going to pick up where we are uh, left off. I just told him to make a bill up for, for what he's done. That'll be worth it because we'll look at it and, uh, and he'll get on and finish Cook Street off. He's the one that does the, the, the seizing. He's got, all, he's got all the inventory I've got of 
what the value of everything is, 2.75 billion. And 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 so he'll he, it won't take much. He go and investigate all of that to get the right the right amount, and he'll seize it. That's Cook Street I'm talking about. He'll he'll seize it. And the only thing again, I never had any money to pay him. Yeah. Because I was relying on getting the land to pay him. Yes. But now we'll just see what his bill is worth, yeah. and then we'll we'll take care of it. And then he'll he'll bang the thing out. He's already got everything. He, he, he knows he knows it's a is a is a real blue collar crime. But being British, he's not going to let these guys get away with it. Yeah. He's not. He's because Britain. It, he'll be flying off to Britain, and as well, when we go there, and represent the chiefs uh, 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 for the British part of the bargain. For their cut, that he'll make sure that they get the right amount of cut because I get on really well with them, and and he'll make sure they don't get too much. You see? Oh, well, that sounds very really good, John. Yeah, no, no, no. I've spent too long. That that since 2012, 2014, with that case, yeah. and it took that yeah, long. long time. It's a long time. But I've yeah. emailed some stuff to you. Just what the, some of the trail. Of, of of those transactions, um, I, I stuck in your mail email and just some of the the, the trail of of that that land block, so you can see an idea of of how to how to how the land block was uh, corrupted, and okay. and that and you can see how I've been communicating with Shannon Withers, that's the barrister that that went on the crown side and didn't didn't let me go in court. You see, and you'll see the letters from the court saying it was dismissed rather than uh, um, um, something else. Um, the case because I, they say I can't go back into it. So that's why they've, they've cut 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 me off altogether. But you'll read the letters from the court to say that they they there was no conviction, and and the barrister used my citations to get those boys off. You see, it was a conflict of interest of a barrister supposed to be acting for me, lift me out. I've got the mobile phone there, you can see and the what picture. what were the marshals doing in there at the same time? No, on my court day, the, the, the court and were making deal with my barrister, had the boys court hearing on that day because they're the ones that we got arrested, you see, and locked up in prison. This is coming straight out of prison. And then the... The barrister, well, the boys didn't want, didn't want any lawyers or barristers. They, they said, no, they can do it on their own with their own tikanga. And so it backfired. And when they went to court, they were going to get thrown back in prison. But then they made a plea with, with, with my barrister without me knowing. And then my barrister represented them in the court. That's when I sprung them, when I turned up the court. And on the text you'll see on my mobile phone that he texts me to say my court hearing is the following week. When it was that day was my court day I was supposed to appear. Those boys appeared. I didn't know what their court date was because I told them I had nothing to do with them. You see, so the barrister, he, 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 he went on the side of them to, to lump me in as if I'm one of them. In the, in the same, and because they stormed the, the Cook Street and pulled those, those people out of the office. I wasn't there. I was out on the road. A contract, I wrote a contract up for them. And they decided that they would get them out of the, the office and put me in the office. You see? Uh -huh. So there was a bit of a rainbow way of them doing it. But they were using the Hawaiian king's uh, jurisdiction, which the court just threw out. Yeah. And then they landed up on my barrister to get them off. And they locked me out of the court so I wouldn't go there. I never got my day in court. That's what I'm moaning about. That's why I went into the, the native court to have our own hearing. Because the justice system wouldn't let me in the court. Yeah. See, so that's grounds for us to have our court run them over. And now this guy's going to run them over because of that. Yeah. This British fellow's not going to get a bar with it. He's, he's going to wreck them all up and John Key. Because John, yeah, Key, good. John Key skipped it and then this lawyer Troy skipped it as well. You see? So the, the John Key went and contracted this lawyer because he's the top lawyer in this country. And yeah. I was using. And he skipped, and he he doesn't want anything to do with his bill. 
You, yeah. you, there's something wrong there when I say, oh, we're going to pay your bill. And, he, and, the, and the office lady said, oh, he's not here, he's overseas. And, uh, oh, you come pick your book up. See? I, I'm going to leave the book there for now. And, and I'll just send a copy over to, uh, to um, um, Gray Mather in Brown's Bay, uh, the, the private investigator. So, yeah. I, I do what? Good job. Good job. Yeah, so good job. If, if everything's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm just, my throat is not good. I've been coughing all night. I'm going down to, a, to the physio now. Um, but I'll catch you up later, eh? All right, enjoy. Okay, don't. Bye. 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 <coughs> well, I was going to go to Simple, but I don't think I'll go now. I'll just get on a bus and go to Manukau City to the physio and do some walking. I think I'll start walking there. No, I'll walk. That would be my exercise. I'll walk. I'll walk and get the bus on the way. Oh, um, no, I'll try and walk to Papa Toy Toy. That'll be my exercise for the day. I'll get on my feet now and, and put some shoes on and go. Anyway, um, I just rang our two uh, chiefs, three, three, uh, Bundy and, and Manahi. Uh, I'll try Manahi again. He might answer his phone this time. I like to talk to them because and um, I'm on a bit of uh, a high um, at the moment um, because this is real potent stuff. And Graham, he's not going to muck around. Oh. No, he didn't. He didn't answer. That's right. Um, so, um, today I sent uh, quite a bit of stuff to these Paramount Chiefs, just to give them an idea of the trail since 2008, in particular 2012 and 2014, <coughs> when I had the tidal turbine projects ready to go, the shares ready to go, the mobile phone working with TagPay ready to go, and also um, the um, lawyers and barristers and everything ready for this case on Cook Street. Take it out. I should have been gone long ago. It's costing them each one trillion pounds a day against the Queen's account. Against the Queen's trust, all the trust accounts of all the corporate's accounts. They're going to get the bill. A trillion pounds a day. I'm not sitting in that office on that land, the Manukau land, our land. That's our land, the whole bloody land. Okay? You show me. Any of you, you Pagas, blue collar Pagas, show me your title. Show me your title. Better than what we got. I bet you, you got nothing. You, you, you can't have anything because you got your Maoris, Iwis, plastic fake Maoris, to give you consent from the real natives, these Paramount Chiefs. They've had enough of you guys. Your John Key ran away, now my lawyers ran away. The, the Asian one. You see, they got their own interests and in raking it out of this country. We're going to rake it out of you. You tired Troy, this one's for you. You've run away from me. You're avoiding me. You avoid me paying your bill. You offer stuff on anything to do with it. Why? What's the problem, Mr. Troy? What's the problem? I've got you all over my website. It's not going to go away. And there's nothing you can do about it either, even if you're a top lawyer. You can't get near Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. You can't get near with this flag. It's live now with these paramount chiefs I'm just speaking to. Them. And the other one, the Justice of the Peace. He's the one, he's the Moriori. He's the real landowner the British have put on their titles in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. Kira Waikato Whare Here Here There, 1820. That's the title. Now, your titles are third party. Mr. Choi, all your TPPA, John Key, banks, everybody's liable. Air New Zealand is liable because John Key is an employee director of Air New Zealand. You get the bill. I can put any figure on it of the damage John Key has done to my ship my capital letter name, my ship of Admiralty, right here, on dry land. The king gave this flag on dry land. 
your Union Jack New Zealand flag is in the sea, beyond the bar, the sandbar of this country. You can flip off back into the sea where you came from and swim around with the sharks. Eh? That's what I'm saying about you Asian people. You're not as smart as what you think you are because I've got a British man right here. He wants his cut out of a toe. It's British that you are violating. You are abhorrent to the British law of the lands here, <coughs> which is us. <coughs> They're our partners. <coughs> the British Navy is our partner. Legal, legitimate, eight-point star of St. Patrick municipalities to collect all the fines and rates and lease land leases off you for occupying our land under the King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. You're on trial, Mr. Toy. You're on trial. Your whole staff is on trial with John Key and all those I've named, the landowners of Cook Street and the 43 people who got in my road. All of you, and including Natalie Flower Dew Brown, who stole my shirt. It's in the police station. It's Exhibit A on my case with Graham Allen. He's got all of this. He knows everything. The only thing he doesn't know just now is this court hearing we just had in uh, Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court in Epsom. That's the part he's waiting for. The chiefs, the paramount chiefs, the commercial land owners of this country, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands for that matter, because the Moriori are Pacific Islanders, that the British founding of this country, 1834 Declaration of War Flag. We're at war with you, Mr. Toy, and the TPPA, and ISIS, and America, US Federal State Government, IMF, United Nations, EU Parliament, we're at war with you right now on this video. I'm citing as fact evidence with this flag and this eight point star that you people are usurping the King William III's Dutch title that belongs to us. It belongs to us, the four paramount chiefs of New Zealand, myself, Surrogate King William III, Surrogate King William IV, St. Patrick's Order, Eight Point Star, and St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki, Births, Deaths and Marriages, 1831, the first of the instruments used on the stock market that King William IV set up. Okay, you got that? That's who I am, in charge of all of that, and the Freemasons, Manukau, title in Awaroa Native Magistrate Court in Helensville Bank. The Awaroa Bank is still live with us and we follow where it went into the BNZ Bank of New Zealand, into the League of Nations, to the United Nations, to the World Bank. That's our bank. You're playing around with this eight point star and King William III, creator of the Bank of England, and 1694 Power Note. King Tafio's Power Note, Waikato Chief, under Tira Waikato Whare Herehere Manukau, the Moriori Chief that signed with Lieutenant William Simons in 1820 in Edinburgh, Magistrate Bank Court, with William Simons, 23rd Regiment of the Royal British Navy, <coughs> <coughs> transferred to Westminster Magistrate Court, and today, First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, British Royal Navy, and Theresa May, Prime Minister of Britain, UK, and the DUP Party, and it um, Foster, she's the first Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, Belfast, Protestant. That's me. That's where this eight-point star of 
St. Patrick is buried there, his memorial. That's my title here, right on my head. And my Cosgrove, Rogan, coat of arms, right there in Belfast. That's my title with the DUP party. I'm going in with them. And the Moai King William party is going to join them right there as a coalition partner in Westminster Parliament and Government. You see? You see what I'm talking about? I'm talking real stuff here because I'm going to discuss it with Graham Ellis. I'm going to write him a nice letter, who I am, really. I knew he knew who I am all along, but he was an investigator of titles and people to go and rake all the money out of them and their assets, just how I say, because I'm on his level of intelligence when it comes to law. Rogan, judges. In New Zealand, Australia, New South Wales, Rogans were the judges that made the laws in this country of married land courts and Cosgrove lawyers. There, those two names are in my blood and Wanoa, Maui, Easter Island, God's Earth, L-O-R-E, law, jurisdiction of deeds of truth. That's who I am. Okay? The other side is my European British side as a Protestant of <coughs> <coughs> Belfast and also <coughs> St Mary's Church. In the first instance, St Mary's Church was the first church in New Zealand to be commercialised uh, as birth, deaths and marriages, certificates for instruments, legal instruments, to banks to make money on a stock market. There. You get that? That's 1831 in Tiki Tiki on Rahui Marae, my Wānoa Hapu Fano Marae, with all the Wānoas buried there, the most of them in that area is buried there, straight to Whakawhiti Ra, Native Magistrate Court in Tiki Tiki Rotoria. Hiru Harama Marae and Hiru in Higurangi, Mount Higurangi, that's our maunga and our title, to Tipito. <coughs> through Marangaroa Marae, to Uetaha Tupuna, that's the ancestor for the whole of the Portiki Rua Ki Waipu boundary area. I've got a title right over that. That's within 180, 200 square kilometres of land. From Kaferanaway, up through the back of Portaka, Rokumara Range, to Hikarangi, and across Tikitiki, Rangituke, uh, East Cape to Horoeda, uh, Te Araro, uh, Punaruku, um, Higgs Bay, Matakawa, Portaka, Cape Runway, all that area. All that area is my title, Uata and Wano. Anybody else can talk for themselves. The Paraparas are in there and the Mana. Ma, manahi, Parapara, Mohinis are in there, and the Haingas. Those are the first two uh, that I link to, those are the first I link to in that area that I'm going to seize, one at a time. And the um, Rotten Point Motel will seize that straight off. <coughs> ha Ho B, 7B block at running to here for the British military to come straight in there and set up the um, British Empire in Auckland, in Cornwall Park. Um, Wantry Hill, the side of Wantry Hill from the Green Lane West side road, uh, before the hospital, and up on the left hand side in the paddock there. That's where Mohi Manakau, Paramount Chief Te Mati Mohi Manakau, the fourth, wanted to put the big building for the um, Parliament, but uh, Bundy's going to fashion out a place in Kohimarawa, I'll sort that out for him, because that's where the Parliament went, to Kohimarawa. He wants to go there, fair enough, on the beach, along anywhere, I'll find a place.
I'll find the right place where it was in the first place. So we're putting our history right back in the original state and take the mortgages off the land. That's what I'm about. I'm doing all the real estate and have classes for people or contract people to do the real estate and the investigations with uh, Graham Layla. Uh, but we'll be, he'll be running uh, in the British uh, State Building on Cornwall Park and our uh, official uh, connection to our legal partners, uh, Britain, UK, Hanover, King, Ennis Augustus, um, our oath of office to him as being the direct blood descendant to King William III, King William IV, and King William, uh, King George IV, and <coughs> King George III. Uh, so those bloodlines are directly connected to Te Rau Waikato, Whare, Here, Here, Manukau in 1820 to 1830 in um, Edinburgh, Magistrate Court, to King William IV, uh, 1830 to 1837 uh, X of Westminster Parliament, which is what we've got in this book here. This book I'll be sending to Graham Allen as our Holy Grail and Bible of law, right there. Everything's in this book. The axe, we've been pulling the axe out of that to charge anybody straight off. Nobody's business. Third party, Queen, all her corporate crown. First and second party, first and second party. Paramount Chiefs of New Zealand, commercial landowners, and First Lord of Sea, Sir Philip Jones, um, the Royal British Navy, and the government at the present time, Theresa May, and the DUP party. Um, Foster. <clears throat> and it, I think Foster. Um, I might have got her first name wrong, but that's her. That's our part, part, partner, um, is Belfast. <coughs> <coughs> Jamie Patrick, that's her Patrick surname, on this 8-point star, uh, direct. So that's why she's on a power note with me, as that uh, title to that surname. And uh, uh, we will reflect that through the um, private investigator. He'll connect us up to Brit Britain and the Westminster Parliament for me to go there in Paddington and set ourselves up in Paddington uh, with our office and business. Straight into the Westminster Magistrate Court. So that's what I'm saying about this Te Unga Waka Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. We had the hearing on Friday last week on the 29th of September 2017 and passed law and forced an order to arrest John Key from that Native Court and to arrest the two owners of Cook Street with the police and the private investigator will set that up for us. We're real. We're going into action with his flag. It's legal now and he'll recognise that with the Paramount Chief. We'll meet him one day but he'll take my word for it. He will take my word for it because he can see it on YouTube. He can see it. He can't help but see it. But I'm sending him those videos of the event as being the connection to Britain and Westminster Parliament. That court and that marae on that piece of land, the closest marae to that hill, although it's a Catholic church marae, it's still nevertheless conducting marae legal matters and whānau hapū from Hokianga and Kaitaia families. That Catholic church up there and I say um, um, <coughs> that they've done a lot with me, uh, with Ben Moringa, he just passed away, as being Catholic Church up there. So they do have a part to play in all of this commercial contract business with the Pope. The Pope has destroyed his laws of motu propria, that's a UCC law, canon law, courier law, civil law and admiralty law. Court martial law is got rid of. It's gone and it just leaves our admiralty law to go right across and shut down all the admiralty laws in the world that have been running a scam under this flag of a king.
This is the only king that put all those laws together in bank laws and also admiralty laws of the sea on land. We will remove the whole lot and we're going back to this world, New World Order flag. New World Order flag. That's where everything came from to make the wealth in this world and to build cities and houses and everything that's ever happened came out of this flag. And the King William III, King William IV, King George III and King George IV in our jurisdictions of Admiralty. So that's what I want to say. That's how I say it. <coughs> because I have <coughs> the Rogan judges and the Cosgrove lawyers in my blood and the native of truth from Moai, the birth of the earth planet in Rapanui, in East Island Rapanui to Mokanui, big face, big shine, big face at Tipito on the East Cape birth of New Zealand. Okay, so that's how that works. That's my title to my own name, Wa Noa. Wa Noa, Wa, beginning of time and space. Noa, N O A, is the center of a marae where the tikanga is placed. The L O R E, right in the center of a marae. And the karanga at the gate, the manuhiri comes in and leaves all their animosities at the gate their weapons at the gate and walk into the Pai Pai, the chiefs, the paramount chiefs in the middle of that marae and that's where peace is made, harmony and love, right there. And that's where we are with this Moriori carving and its parliament. This peace is restored from the King's Bench Native Grand Jury Court in New Zealand for the whole world. The blueprint of all the native countries in the world comes out of this flag and the pound note. Okay? That's how it is. The pound note was taken over by the British, um, the um, Rothschild banks, bought out the Bank of England, the Patterson's Bank of England, the Patterson's pound note, bought that out and then started the racket off and started using the decoration of war flag on everybody as pirates. Now they are the pirates. My lawyer, you Tai Choi, you're a pirate. Your John Key's lawyer, he's a pirate. Ian Usland, that's a pirate. You're all legacy joined at the head of uh, corruption and fraud in New Zealand. It's running rife. You're caught. You're caught red handed. The court is caught red-handed. The judge, Grant, that found me innocent and dismissed the case. It wasn't suspended or anything, it was dismissed, that means got rid of, so they, you can't go into the court. Oh yes, we can. We are the court. We are a higher court. That's why you wouldn't let me in your court, because I'm talking a higher court, where all your laws came from, and the reason why you're on these lands is occupying them. They're taking all your titles off you. The British are going to take the whole lot off you and reissue the titles through the Moai Crown King William IV Trust. Okay, you got that? And the Whakaminia. The Whakaminia is the commercial landowners, in a sense, but they are the original native landowners with none of this commercial stuff on it. They are the Arikis, they are the spiritual people that belongs to the land, and the land belongs to them. Okay, that's how it is. And you are immigrants on this land, Choi. All of you people who have come here are immigrants and occupy the land on leases, king's leases. We own the king's leases outright with this land to prove it, the receipt of a contract, a private contract between two people, nobody's business as a third party. You're a third party, Mr. Choi. You're a third party. Mr. Graham Allard is a second party to us. He's British and immigrant here. And so is Selwyn Clark, an immigrant, but he's our partner as the second, first party. They are first parties. Graham Allard, our prime investigator from Britain, ex detective, Scotland Yard, all the rest of it, and 90 year old 
Shawan Clark or Hilliwini Kaka, as his Maori name is, but in the British sense, his name is Shawan Clark, the paramount chief justice of the Te Ungawaka Marae Native Magistrate Court of Auckland, New Zealand. There, we've got him as being, these are his acts. These are his acts from Britain, where he came from, and Graham Allen. Prime Minister had a for Britain, UK's financial investment interests, and our paramount chief's financial investment interests in portions, right through the world, free passage. We'll just say, the Queen has been using, usurping for her private interests. She's no longer a Queen as such, but a private woman with her corporate private businesses making money for herself interests and not the interests of her Maori people or the people of the world she represents in Commonwealth countries and their allied countries. She's all about herself. Well, we're not. Moai, Crown, King William IV Trust is about everybody in the world. As membership on our website, moaipowerhouse.com, when it gets fired up with Cecile Hoods, and her husband is German, British, English, by the way, Hoods, will be in the interest of Britain, UK, to have our counts bang on. And we've got Jackie, Little Gordon and Andy, her husband, and Jack and Zara and uh, Jeroni, uh, their, 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 their children, in the business of Moai Crown King William IV Trust, and also the business in Britain, London, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company, registered. Credit. Okay, over there. And Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited, registered in New Zealand as one of a trillion shares. And Britain has one billion shares, going at £25 a share, and you get a free share if you buy a mobile phone for yourself. And the number, that's all we need, the phone number for take pay to register you to claim all what we're claiming back on the King's Bench Court. Okay, got it? That's how it works. Nothing's going to a third party. It's all coming from the third party back into the second and the first party. Private contract, nobody's business to inquire into. That's how the Queen operates on that side. With the Pope and the Vatican City, private company. City of London, private company. Washington DC, private company. United States of America, private company. United Nations, private company. Israel, private company. IMF, private company. World Bank, private company, EU Parliament, private company. All of those companies are the debtors on the side 970 million trillion trillion pound note, right over the top of them, and the church and state, and that, and, and all the royal families, over 500 royal families get the bill. 30% of the Queen's bench court and all her countries of Commonwealth gets 30% of the debt. 70% of the people are creditors, 30% of the population of the world, 7.5 billion people, gets a bill. 70% of the population of the bill, the world, of 7.5 billion, gets the credit. 30% of London, or England, gets the bill on the Queen's bench courtside, the Queen's crown. 70% of the population of England is the creditor that walks off that side through the Moai Crown. Private company. Got that? This is a crown that has no crown. The coronation of the Queen and the scone is fraud. Fraud. It's fact. There's, no, there's only two crowns. That was Queen Victoria and King William IV. Two crown coronations. That's it. We're using King William III and King William IV straight to King Ernest Augustus V, King
King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and now the King of New Zealand and Pacific Island, and the World New World Order under Moai Crown King William IV Trust. He's our King, that we swear our oath of office to, and swear our oath of office to the two chiefs, the Moriori chief, Te Rewakato Wharehere Manaka, and Hongihika, Cook Island, Tahitian, 1820-1830 period. And we swear our oath of office to the 13 chiefs who got this flag from Britain and um, in Okiato Native Magistrate Court before the colonial side and Hone Heke cut the flag down and the Navy under the King blew it up and shifted it to Awaro Native Magistrate Court in Helensville and then put the Manukau title on and seized all the other titles and put it in the Manukau title. This Moriori Manukau, Te Rawakato, Wharahere Manukau from Maungatauturi, Cambridge, in Waikato region, with the King Tafio pound note, 1888 pound note. 1888, the British gave him a pound note. <coughs> right till 1833, <coughs> when they stopped it, okay? Um, and issued the um, Australian commercial power note, uh, uh, power note, oh, Australian commercial note, and the BNZ power note. BNZ started printing its own power note and put King Tafio's power note on hold. Now we pulled that King Tafio's power note and we're using that as a 970 million trillion trillion power note and a trillion power note and smaller denominations of power notes and gold coins. King William IV got gold coins. We're using all that gold that's missing under the power note to seize the whole lot back from where it is hiding. So we're putting a hole right over the top of it. <coughs> a lean right over the top of it and draw on it. So that's what I'm saying. The British military will be the first we pay to recover it. Ten billion for starters to the Royal Navy military in Britain. And then day after Westminster Parliament to crank them up and cut out the EU Parliament uh, bullshit uh, bills made out of thin air. That's just a company floating over the land and nowhere else. King William III owns the Netherlands and the World Court. So we're already there. We don't have to go there. We go in the Magistrate Court. They have no jurisdiction in that court to go foreign policy from one country to the other. They can only adjudicate claims on behalf of the King, who we are. We hold the Holy Grail in Edinburgh, St Mary's Church, buried underneath it. That's my title. 